Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dia and today I'm going to be trying a baddie ABG inspired makeup look. So please stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. I start off this look with a cleansed face. Unfortunately, my skin is a bit on the drier side so I need to moisturize it. I like to use the CauseRx Comfort Ceramide Cream. This cream is said to improve the skin's elasticity and also repair the skin's barrier. Now that my skin is nice and moisturized, I'm going to go in with foundation. I like to use the Ink Skin Tint from Peri Pera in the color Sand. Pat the foundation all over your face with a moist beauty blender. I always start off with a pea-sized amount of foundation and add more foundation as needed. Now it's time for eyeshadow. For this look, I'm going to use the Etude House Bakehouse Palette. Start with the color Beach Coconut and swipe it all over both eyelids. Then use whatever is left over on your bottom lash lines. Blend the color Mini Canelli into the outer corners of the eyes. Pick up the color Salty Brownie with the little brush that comes with your eyeshadow palette and swipe it directly above your upper lash lines. Then with my finger, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer to my inner eyelids with the color Acoustic Guitar. I decided to use the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the color Black for my winged eyeliner look. I'm not the best when it comes to eyeliner, but I decided to give it a try just for today. Eyeliner, done. Now it's time for lashes. I'm using the Ilure London Naturals. I chose these lashes because they were under $5 and they came with the lash glue. This was my first time applying false lashes, so I did have a little bit of trouble, so I decided to go off screen and apply them. Now I'm going in with the Glossier Lash Lick so that it seems like my natural lashes and the false lashes are one and the same. Brow time! For brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Defining Pencil in the color Deep Brown. I always draw lines underneath and over places I believe my eyebrows are a little sparse. And then with the spoolie at the end of the eyebrow pencil, I blend everything upward to give my eyebrows a more natural look in my opinion. The next step of this makeup look is contour. I'm using the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation in the color Nude 40. With the NYX 3 Steps to Sculpt Contour Palette, I contour the sides of my nose and add a little bit of sparkle to the tip of my nose. Now it's time to add some color to my lips. I'm going to use the 3CE Ink Tart Lipstick in the color 116. Before you apply any lipstick, be sure to apply chapstick or lip balm.
This lipstick is a beautiful shade of brown that works perfectly with my eyeshadow. Blush time! I'm using the Juicy Pink Blusher in the color BE01. I know this color looks really intense at first, but it actually is really light once you blend it out. This blush is so light, in fact, that I decided to apply more blush afterward. For powder, I'm going to be using the Sunkill Natural 100 Mineral Sunscreen. This sunscreen is not only good at protecting you from the sun, but it also eliminates any excess oil or shine on your face. Now that we're done with makeup, we're on to hair. I'm going to be doing this next step off screen. I'm super happy with how my hair turned out. If you'd like a tutorial on how I style my hair or how I get it so shiny, please let me know in the comments below. For earrings, I'm going to be applying these clip-on hoop earrings. And yes, they're clip-on because I don't have my ears pierced. So now I'm going to change into a top that gives more of a baddie vibe. And finally, I'm going to apply this huge arm tattoo. And here's my final look. for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next thank you so much bye